This morning, Jacques Cartier was found dead. Live from France, please welcome Jen. So, today I am in Samaro, where, unfortunately, Jacques Cartier has passed away this morning. He improved our world today by opening up the greatest waterway for European entrance into North America. He also gave the country of Canada its name after he heard the natives use the word Canada, which means village, which he interpreted as a native term for the country. He also claimed Canada for France, but that's not it. Samuel Girard wouldn't come from Quebec, but he would come from a native tribe. Back to you, Kate. Thank you, Jen. Now, it's time for the discussion part of the day. So, Mike, who was Jacques Cartier? Jacques Cartier was a French explorer who sailed for Francis I. When he explored North America, his goal was to find gold and a passage to Asia. On his voyage in April 1534, he was able to reach Newfoundland in 20 days with only two ships. He then traveled along the coast of Newfoundland until he encountered the mainland of Canada. He then returned to France, arriving in September 1534. Fairly after he returned, King Francis I sent him on another expedition with three ships instead of two. By using the information gathered from the natives, Cartier was able to travel up to the St. Lawrence River. In September 1535, Cartier arrived at the Roquois village of Stadacona, modern-day Quebec City. Cartier and his men spent that winter at Stadacona. It was a very harsh winter, and many of Cartier's men became sick with scurvy. The natives were able to help Cartier's men by telling them of a remedy. After the tough winter, Cartier returned to France. His next expedition began in 1541. This time, Jean-François de Largue de Robertval was the leader of eight ships and about 1,500 men. The goal of this journey was to discover the mystical kingdom of Saguenay, which was mentioned by the natives to have great riches. He established a settlement by the name of Charlebourg Royal. The men started to find and collect what they thought were gold and diamonds, which were proven to be quartz crystal and iron pirates once they were returned to France. Cartier then went out in the search of Saguenay. Eventually, Cartier decided to head back to France because the situation wasn't looking so good. Cartier then encountered Robertval and his ships along the shores of Newfoundland. Robertval insisted that he came with him to return to Canada, but that brave Cartier snuck off and continued to France. Robertval then took over the settlement, but was eventually abandoned in 1543. Cartier spent the rest of his life in Samaru, and there he died on September 1, 1557. It's getting emotional in the studio. <laughs> We're out of time, folks. See you next time.